Are you still pasting affiliate links straight into your content? Well, that's a bad idea for a few different reasons. And I'm gonna share those reasons with you in this video. And I'm also gonna share with you a fantastic plugin that overcomes this and gives you some great features in terms of managing your affiliate links. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the Click Whale plugin, which is a very well-priced uh, premium plugin that enables you to cloak your affiliate links so that you can have some real nice short URLs for them. It also allows you to track your affiliate links, which is useful so you can see which affiliate links are getting clicks. It's also got a really nice feature called link pages, which as the name suggests, enables you to create a fantastic little page with all of your most popular affiliate links or the ones that you choose. Maybe it's your essential tools, that kind of thing, which is perfect for linking to from your social media profiles. It's also got a couple of other nice little features which might eliminate a few plugins that you're already using, therefore reducing the number of plugins you've got on your site, which is, of course, a good thing. So let's jump on the computer and I'll take you through this plugin right now. Let's go. So here is Click Whale. I will put a link up right now so you can go check it out yourself. Also put a link across the bottom there. You'll also find links in the description. It is an affiliate link. Thank you very much. If you use it, I do uh, appreciate that. So here is the pricing uh, for ClickWell, very, very reasonably priced at just $24.50 for the year, which is very good when you compare it to some of the alternatives like Pretty Links, which comes in around $99 for the year, or Lasso, Lasso, Lasso it's Lasso, right? Lasso, which comes in around $280 for the year. Uh, I think it's $280, $289 even, just checking my notes there. 289 for the year, so 2450, well, so cheap, you don't even have to think about it. For three sites, you're looking at 4950, and for 10 sites, 9950. So really good value for money. Right, let's jump into the plugin. Let me show you what it's all about and why it's a good thing to have on your site. So set up a little test site. Uh, I'm using um, ZipWP to create these test sites, which uh, is a really useful little tool for testing stuff out and staging sites. I'll put a link to that as well down in the description. Do go check it out, affiliate link, of course. Right, so let's go into the uh, the dashboard. By the way, this lovely looking site is of course running Popcorn Theme. It's using the product review demo. And uh, yeah, you'll find a link to Popcorn Theme in the description as well. And I'll also put a little discount coupon down there for you as well. Okay, let's jump into the dashboard. And we've got ClickWell installed. I've been playing around with it, checking it all out. I really like it. And once you, once you install it, you get this. And then the first and probably the most important part is here, which is the links. So within here is where we can add our affiliate links, where we can manage our affiliate links, and basically do everything that we need to do around our affiliate links. I've already added a few in here just to play around with. And um, let me show you how exactly it works. If I go in and edit, this is the screen you'll get when you want to edit a link or when you add a link. First thing, you just add the title. Then you add a slug, which is basically the, the URL that the link's going to be. So whatever your domain name is, slash, and then the slug is your affiliate link. So for example, in this example, it's going to be slash gravity forms. So if it was on wpeagle.com, it would be wpeagle.com slash gravity forms. Nice, short, and sweet, and easy to remember. We then stick in our target URL, which is going to be the affiliate link. The redirection type, always leave it on 301. I'm not sure what those others are for. Don't worry about that. Then we've got a no follow option, which is a good thing to tick. I'd recommend that you make all of your affiliate links no follow. And then here we've got a sponsored, where you can mark the link as sponsored. Now, there's always a bit of a debate whether you should mark affiliate links as sponsored. Personally, I don't mark them as sponsored. But if you want to, if you think that's the thing you should do, you can tick this box. You can add a little description there if you need to remind yourself in the future about you know what the link's all around and what the product is, you can stick that in there. And then here we've got a box for the categories. I'll get onto categories in a second, but basically it's just a easy way of organizing your links. So when you make some changes, you can click save a link. Now, I did touch on um, in the introduction why it's a good idea to use a plugin like this to manage your links. Let me just remind you, the first thing is obviously, as I've just shown you, you can have some great little URLs to share. So rather than 
sharing a big old long link like that, we can just um, share a nice short, friendly, easy to remember link. The second reason is that it's track, it's tracked, I should say, or it's trackable. So we can see how many clicks have gone through that link. And this is good for a number of reasons for yourself. So you can see, you know, which links are working. Secondly, you can just double check that that number matches up with the affiliate program just to make sure that they're recording all your clicks. And if it was way out, I mean, there is always going to be probably a little bit of discrepancy, but if it's way out, you can maybe raise that with the affiliate uh, partner program that you're with and just say, hey, look, I'm registering like 10 clicks and you said I've only sent one click. What's going on there? Maybe we need to look into that. So that's a good thing. The next reason, which I think is one of the most important reasons, is that it's very easy to update these links. So say, for example, I've got this link here for Gravity Forms, and then I get an email from Gravity Forms, and they say, hey, we've decided to change our affiliate program. We're going to be using this new company to manage our affiliate program, and we need you to update all your links. That's a problem if you've just pasted the uh, this URL straight into all your content. You're going to have to do a search and replace. You're going to have to find it. What if you posted it on social media or some other places? Or maybe you did some emails, sent it out there. It's a nightmare. Whereas with this, you can go, that's fine. You get the new link, you come in here, click on edit, get the new link, and then just paste it in there. I don't know why I've just pasted in Vata. Never mind, but yeah, you get the idea. So yeah, very easy to update your links in the future, which is gonna save you a ton of work. So this is the uh, the link section. I think it's fairly straightforward. Of course, if you have any questions about any part of this video, just leave me a comment below. I do read all the comments and I'll try to reply as quickly and as well as I can. So let's move on to the next section, which is categories. So in here, we can create categories for the links. The main reason is just to keep things nice and tidy. Maybe you've got certain product groups or some other way of um, categorizing your links. This is what these are for. Generally, when I use a, a plugin like this, I don't really use the categories, but then maybe I should. I can be a little bit messy sometimes and using categories can keep things all nice and tidy. So that's links, that's categories. That's probably the main part of this plugin. That's the bit that you're gonna use the most. One thing I should say though, is if you are gonna be using this plugin, for Amazon links, then you've got to be really careful. In fact, you probably shouldn't be cloaking and masking Amazon affiliate links because if you take a look at their terms and conditions, this bit, for example, it kind of says that you shouldn't do that. So yeah, you don't want to get in trouble with Amazon. You know what they're like, they'll kick you out of the program, all that kind of thing. So yeah, for Amazon, probably best not to use this plugin but uh, every other kind of affiliate link should be absolutely fine. Okay, next up, we've got this real nice feature, which is link pages. Now, this allows you to create a nice little page that's perfect for sharing on social media, a page that kind of shows off all of your favorite affiliate links. So I have a page on WP Eagle, let me just show you, which is this one, which is my essentials, or my essential tools and products and services that I recommend all the time. Got them in a nice list. Well, what this um, does is allow you to create a nice little page like that that's really nice on mobile and really easy to share and just a great thing that you can easily remember because you can create your own uh, link for it. So it's even something that you could just give out when you're out and about. Someone says, oh, what, what do you normally recommend? You go, oh, go and check out wpeagle.com slash essentials. They're all on there, all my favorite stuff. It's It's good, it's handy. In fact, let me just jump on my phone right now and uh, I'll show you what it looks like on the phone because it looks absolutely sweet. Quickly jump into Safari. There's my page and as you can see, look sweet, look sweet. Um, on mobile, you've got the social media links at the bottom and then obviously if I click off to any of these affiliate links, they just work. And yeah, it's perfect for social media. It's perfect for sharing and it's just a really useful little page to have with all of your most used and most recommended affiliate products. Right, let's jump back onto the computer. Pretty cool, huh? Looks good. Uh, let me just show you what it looks like on the desktop as well. It looks like the uh, the phone version, just a little bit wider. And yeah, it's really easy to set up. You'd come in and click add new, and then you get into these settings here. Let's start at the beginning. 
So you give it a title, you put in a description, you set your slug, which is your URL, of course, uh, something nice and short and easy to remember. You can add a logo or you can add a picture of yourself pulling a strange face like I have. You can add a little menu. So maybe you want to add a little kind of legals menu, they call it, with a link to your privacy policy and your terms and conditions. You can do that in here. Got some logo style options. I've gone for a circle. And then, of course, you're going to want to add a shadow. Shadows are the best. Next, you've got um, the actual contents. And this is really easy to use. It's like a very uh, simple page builder. You just simply drag and drop the stuff you want. So maybe you want to add one of your affiliate links. You drag it over and then you can select one of the links that you've um, put into the link section, the bit that we just went through. Really easy, give it a title, you can give it a subtitle, you can upload an image, you can uh, have an icon, or you can have an emoji. Of course, you can um, you can just drag these around depending on the order that you want. You can add a heading up here. Again, if you wanted to add a heading, you just whoop, drag it over like that. And you can also add your social profiles down here. Again, you just drag it up like that. To set your social profiles, you come into the social profiles tab, just copy and paste in all your links. Easy peasy. Next, we've got the styles. Loads of styles to play around with. You can add gradients. You can just have a solid color background. You can have a pattern. You can have an image. Of course, I love a purple to pink gradient, which is what I've gone for. And yeah, just general styling options to make it look really sweet and as you've already seen, it looks really good on the phone. In here, you've got some SEO options if you so wish. You can add a title, description. You've got some options regarding the robots meta. You can even add some open graph stuff if you want. Although, personally, I don't think this is the kind of page that will be indexed particularly well by Google. But hey, why not fill it in anyway? It's probably going to be a page that you put on your social media profiles. Just have it in your Twitter bio or your X bio your Instagram bio, something like that. It's a, it's a good place to put a link like this. So that's the link pages, which is a real nice feature of this plugin. Next, we've got tracking codes. Now, this is a great little feature because it can replace a plugin that you may already be using. Uh, and that plugin would be the insert headers and footers plugin. If you're using that plugin, you'll know exactly what this does. If you're not, it's basically an easy way to add those tracking codes that you get from things like Google Analytics, from Facebook when you want to add a pixel. They often give you a little snippet of code and say, paste this into your header. Well, here is how you can do that. You click Add New, give it a name, you know, Google Analytics. You then paste the code in there. You then decide where you want it, whether you want it before the head or after the body tag or before the closing body tag. When you get the code from whoever you get it from, they will give you instructions and tell you exactly where it should be. So that's easy. You can have it on the whole website or maybe just a specific page. You can exclude certain pages and posts just by filtering them here. You can exclude certain users. So maybe you don't want your analytics code to fire when you're logged in as an administrator. So you can just tick that box right there. And then again, you've got a description box just to remind you of what the heck this code is. And then at the bottom, you turn it on or off. Straightforward, nice and easy. Probably allows you to remove a plugin from your website. And of course, having less plugins is always a good thing because it increases the performance of your WordPress website. Next up, we've got statistics, which is, uh, which is nice. Shows you how many clicks you've been getting on your individual affiliate links. I mean, the tracking here or the statistics here, it's not particularly in depth, but it's got everything you need to know really, which is the number of clicks you've been getting. And it's got a nice graph and you can very easily visually see which links are getting the most clicks. Then you get some analytics as well about the link page or link pages, depending on how many you've got. You can see which ones are the most viewed and again, how many clicks and views you're getting. Next up, we've got settings, which I don't think we need to go through right now, but it's basically just the settings of the plugin. Uh, it's all fairly uh, straightforward stuff. And then we've got some tools, which they are useful if you're currently using a plugin like this, maybe you're already using Link Whisper. Not a problem. ClickWell will detect Link Whisper and it will allow you to pull in all those links 
from that plugin at the click of a couple of buttons. You can reset the entire plugin if you need to, and you can also import and export into CSV files, or you can import from a CSV file, or you can export to a CSV file. Very useful if you decide to change plugin in the future. Um, I'd recommend it's probably a good thing to do anyway on a regular basis, just so that you've got them all safely in a CSV if you ever need them. Because I've found that over time, especially on WP Eagle, for example, the number of affiliate links that I've got is quite vast. So to have them in a spreadsheet is, is nice. It helps me sleep at night. And that's it. That's about it. Um, it's a great plugin. I highly recommend you check it out. And I think you'll find it really useful. That brings to the end of this video. What did you think of that? Looks good, huh? Do go check it out. And do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the video, what you thought of the plugin. Maybe you're using something else like Pretty Links and well, let me know about that and how that works for you in the comments. I do read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not yet subscribed, do click that button to avoid missing upcoming streams and videos. But until next time, good luck with your sites. See you later.